let us start the today's class. Uh, this is the fifth lecture on uh, the topic digital electronics and the content for uh, today's class is the K map that we will continue a portion we have already completed in the previous class and then the second topic will be gate implementation of sum of product and product of sum form. So, that gate implementation will be done using and or gate and 99 gate for sum of product form whereas, for product of sum we can use this or and and nor nor combination for implementation. So, in previous class I told you about two variable k maps with two variables we have four mean terms. Okay. So, we can extend the concept for three variable k maps. For three variable k maps there will be eight mean terms and therefore, there will be eight squares in the k map okay. and those uh, mean terms, eight mean terms can be represented like this. Let us say that the three variables are x, y, z. So, the eight boxes in this k map will be arranged this manner. This is for x and y, z. Okay. Here I will write for x 0, 1 and in the row it will be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 and then 1, 0. Okay. If you have noted for the two variables, we wrote uh, the numbers in sequence 0 then first then after that 1, but please notice here that what we did here first we write 0, 0, 0, 1, then you are expected to write 1, 0 and then 1, 1 but there is a little change here. First of all, we will write 1 1 which represents 3 and then we write 1 0 that refers to. Okay. So, it is because of the same reason that we want to, we want one variable to be changed when we go to adjacent block. Okay. You see here that uh, for this box, the y y is 0, z is 1. Okay. So, when we move, move to the next uh, uh, adjacent to the adjacent block, what we have? The z remains at is, uh, as it is that is 1, where y changes from 0 to 1. Okay. That, that was the region. If I write here 1, 0 in place of 1, 1, then you can see that both variables are getting changed from 1 to 0 and 0 to 1. That is why what we do? We write 1 1 first then 1 0. Okay. So, that is the only difference 0 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 0 and similarly, the mean terms will be written like this for, for the first box the mean term is m 0, m 1 then uh, m 3 followed by m 2 and similarly, here I will have m 4, m 4, m 5, m 7 and m 6. Okay. m 0 is as you know it is x bar, y bar, z bar, m 1 is x bar, y bar, z, m 2 is x bar, y, z bar and so on. Okay. So, mean term point uh, mean terms are arranged in this manner for 8 variable uh, for 3 variables map. Okay. Now, uh, let us uh, uh, do some uh, exercise here with the mean terms. Okay. I say that just uh, add or perform R operation with 2 adjacent mean terms. Let us say that I write m 0 plus m 1. Okay. m 0 plus m 1. So, m 0 as you see here is x bar, y bar, z bar plus 
m 1 that is x bar y bar z z. So, uh, I can take here x bar y bar m 0 x bar y bar z m 1 is x bar y bar z x bar y bar z. So, uh, let me write here x bar y bar and that becomes z bar plus z and that gives us x bar y bar. Okay. What does it mean? It simply means that if I add two adjacent block, then uh, basic I if I perform R of the two adjacent block, what I get? One variable disappeared. Okay. Because, because of uh, one block is if uh, referring uh, y uh, z then z bar then another one is referring z. So, z plus z bar is 1. Okay. So, if I uh, combine two adjacent 1 basically I will get a term of only two variables is it or not? Because one variable will be disappeared because of this region. Okay. Similarly, uh, let me do the exercise for the four terms. Let me add four terms then see what we are getting here. Let me do this m 0 plus m 1 plus m 4 plus m 5. Then what I will get? If I add m 0, m 1, m 4 plus m 5, I will get y bar you can verify this or y prime. Okay. So, if I uh, make a group of four mean terms adjacent mean terms okay, and uh, minimize the given function using this k map, what I get? I get a sing a term with a single variable. Okay. Similarly, if I add all eight mean terms I will get 1. So, if there is if all boxes are having 1 that function will represent 1. Okay. Now, let us do one exercise considering uh, these facts and another uh, thing I would like to tell you uh, regarding this uh, k map this uh, three variable k map is the adjacent block m 0, m 1 are considered to be adjacent block similarly m 1, m 3, m 3, m 2 m 0, m 1, m 1 and m 5 and you should also note that this m 0 will also be considered to be a adjacent block of this m 2. Okay. If there is a 1 here and another 1 here, I can make a group like this. Okay. Similarly, for m 4 the adjacent block is m 5 as well as this m 6. Both m 5 and m 6 are adjacent block for this m 4 okay. and similarly uh, that is also true for this m 6. For m 6 the m 4 is adjacent block. Okay. So, I can make a group of 1 if 1 is here another 1 is here. So, I can make a group like this okay. and even if I have 4 1 at the 4 corners 1 1 1 1 here then I can make a group of 4 4 ones like this. Okay these two ones will be considered to be adjacent of these two ones. Okay. And I can reduce uh, the four mean terms uh, into a single term which will, uh, con which will contain only one variable. Okay. Getting this? Now, let us take one example. A, a Boolean function is given that is uh, that consisting mean terms 0, 2, 4, 5, 6. A function is given that is three variable function which is having mean terms 0, 2, 4 and 6. Okay. Let us minimize this using this three variable k map.
0 to 4, let us write one more mean term here that is 5, 0 to 4, 5, 6. Okay. So, I will draw a uh, KMF, 3 variable KMF like this. four columns, this is for x, y, z, for x it is 0, first row is 0, second row is 1, for y, z it is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, then 1, 0. Okay. Now, uh, let us fill uh, these boxes by the given number, the first mean term is 0. So, that is uh, referring this m 0. So, I should write 1 here. Okay. Then we have 2. So, this is 0, 1, 2 is here. Okay. So, I will put one another 1 here. Then 4, 4 is here, 5 and 6. Okay. Now, I, I will have to make the groups of 1. Okay. You can see that we have 4 adjacent 1, this, this, this and this. Okay. So, I can join them together. These 4 mean terms will be joined together. Okay. One more one is left here. So, this one can be combined with this one. Okay. So, what will be the resultant function now? F, F is, let us write the simplified term for the first group. First group was for this 1, 1 and 1, 1. So, what should I write for this group? What you see? That x is varying 0, 1. So, x will be disappeared when we add those, those 4 mean terms. Okay. And what about y? y is 0 here and 1 here. So, y is also varying 0 and 1. So, when I add all those 4 terms, this y will also disappear because 0 plus 1 will appear. Okay. And the z is present here. In fact, it is z bar and for both column this and this, we have same z bar, z bar. Okay. So, when I make a group of these 4 ones, I will get z bar okay, or z prime, whatever you want to write. Is it clear? And similarly, you can uh, write the terms for this second group. What should I write for the second group? This is defined for x equal to 1. Okay. So, x should appear x and then you find here that in these two column, the y bar is as it is 0, 0, z is varying 0 to 1. So, z plus z prime becomes 1. So, I will be left with only y bar. Okay. So, the second, I mean uh, the term which will come along with x is, variable which will come along with x is basically y bar. Okay. So, simplified function of this given f x y z which has these 5 mean terms is simply z plus plus x y bar. We can easily do using this 3 variable k map. Okay. Is it clear? Sometime uh, the mean terms are uh, mean terms are basically you see that uh, for each mean term there are 3 variable, but in some expression you will see that 1 or 2 variables are missing. So, in that case, it is a uh, writing the one in the boxes, boxes are a trick. Okay. Let me give, uh, let me tell you how to write, uh, how to fill the boxes in that case. One example is, uh, let me take one example in that context. Basically, uh, let us say that a function is given to you that is f equal to a dash c plus a dash b 
plus a b dash c plus b c. Okay. The problem is in this case the all mean terms are not given, but we are given a function f that are written in terms of three variable a, b and c and each term written here, I mean not each term, but uh, three terms of this given function is not having one variable. Okay. You see the first one is having a c only, no b here, no c here, a, b, c all are there, here no a. Okay. So, how to fill uh, the k my boxes for this function that I am going to tell you. Okay. So, let me draw a k my for this three variable function. I will write here a this side b c 8 boxes a 0 1 b c 0 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 0. Okay. First I will have to fill 1 in the boxes then I will minimize the terms. Okay. So, first term we have a a bar c. Okay. So, if we are considering a bar c for a three variable system, it basically represents 2 1, is it or not? I mean there are two mean terms for this a dash c. What are those mean terms? If I see, if I write a dash c, basically it is a dash b c plus a dash b bar c, is it or not? Is it clear? Because if you uh, take a dash c common, then we get a dash c in bracket b plus b bar that becomes 1. Okay. That means, if only two terms are uh, two variables are given in a term, then basically that is referring to different one, two ones of this k map. Okay. So, we have to find out what are those two ones. So, for this a bar c, a bar means it is for this row, first row okay. and then c, we have to find out c, c means uh, you, you can see here, you see these two columns, c is 1 here and c is 1 here, okay. no change in c, 1 and 1. So, that is why basically this term a bar c or a complement c refers to 1 here and here. Am I right? If you add here m 1 and m 3, you will get a bar c. Okay. P will be disappeared, b plus b bar because of this relation. Okay. Is it getting clear? Are you getting clear? Now, uh, similarly, you can write this a bar b, a complement b. So, for a complement b, again a complement refers uh, this first row and for b, basically we have to take b as a 1. So, b as a 1 means this column, third, third, uh, this third column and fourth column. Okay. So, we have to write 2 1 in this box and this box, this box is already filled by 1. So, I will not write 1 here another one will be written here. Okay. Is it clear? Now, for a b bar c, it is very clear, a b bar c means a is 1, then b bar c, I mean this box. Okay. And uh, for b c, again b c means this box, the th uh, I mean the third column, because a plus a bar, a is disappeared here. So, it, it basically it is a plus a bar into b c. Okay. So, I mean this column, this one and another one here. Okay. Is it clear? A term with uh, 
two variables is basically referring two different one in the box. Okay. What about a single term in this equation? Let us say that we have a here plus a, then how should I write that a here? If there is a single uh, variable in this equation, I mean a term with a single variable, then how many one that a refer 4. Okay. If I have a, let us say that if I have simple a, okay. so I will have to write for the second column. This is the second column is uh, referring a, a equal to 1. Okay. If I had a bar here, that means all 1 for this row. Okay. Is it clear? Now, uh, you can uh, just adopt the same procedure to make a group. We have 4, 1 here. So, I will make a group of these 4, 1. Okay. And then uh, 1 is left here. So, that 1 can be made can be joined together with this one. Okay. And for these four one, what I will have to write? For these four one, it is C, because B is changing from 0 to 1. So, that will disappear. And A is also changing from 0 to 1. So, this will disappear. So, I will write only C and plus for these two, it is A dash B or A complement B. So, this is the simplified version of this given equation. Okay. With the help of this K map, you can very easily do this simplification. Okay. Please note here that if there are 8 adjacent 1 are available, then you will make the group of all those one. Okay. I mean, for a group, you should always look for more number of adjacent one. Okay. That means, if four ones are available, try to make a group of all those four one. Okay. Then think about the two ones. Is it clear? And now, let me extend uh, this concept for 4 variable k maps. Okay. So, for 4 variable k maps, there will be 16 mean terms and therefore, there will be 16 blocks in the k map. Okay. And those uh, mean terms will be referred as m0, m1, m2, m3 to m15. Okay. So, let us say that the 16, uh, I mean the 4 variables are uh, w, x, y and z. Okay. The 4 variables are w, x, y, z. So, our function will be written like this f of w, x, y, z and the k map will be constructed in this, final, in this fashion. There will be 4 rows and another four columns, four columns and then four rows. So, rows are here for W x and columns are for different combination of y z. Okay. So, W x is for different row, W x there are two variables that means there will be four possible combination for different four rows. Okay. So, these are uh, basically can be de designated as 0 0, 0 1, 1 1 and 1 0. Please note it this sequence. I am writing 0 1 1 1 after 0 1 not 1 0 after 0 1 as I did in the case of 3 variable k map. Okay. And similarly, 
I will also write for the column it is 0, 0, 0, 1, then 1, 1, then finally 1, 0. Okay. And uh, therefore, the mean terms would be placed like this m0, m1, m3, m2, m4, m5, m7, m6, then m8, m9, m11, m10, m12, m13, m15 and m14. Okay. This is the sequence for all four, all 16 uh, mean terms. Okay. Is it clear? Now, uh, all the rules and regulations which are discussed for 3 and 4 variable will also be valid here. Uh, let me uh, show you one uh, exercise, I mean how to minimize a given function using this 4 variable k map. Okay. The function which is given is f equal to the function which is to be minimized is f w x y z equal to summation of mean terms following mean terms 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 12, 13, and 14. Okay. So, mean terms are given here. Now, I will have to fill the mean terms into this k map and I will make the groups of the adjacent ones. Okay. So, this is our 0, for 0 I will write 1 here, then for 1 there is another 1 here, 2, 2 is this, okay. 4, 4 is here, 5 is here, 6 is here, 8 is here, 9, Twelve is here, thirteen and fourteen. Okay, I have placed all mean terms in this four variable K map. Okay, now I will make a group of the adjacent ones. Okay, so you can see that these four, these first two columns are filled by one. Okay, so we have eight adjacent one here. I can make a group of eight adjacent one like this. Okay. And what does it refer? F equal to? Please tell me. It refers only y bar. Okay. Because for w you see w is varying from 0, 0, 0 to 1, x is also varying from 1 to 0. So, all this x and w will be disappeared in the final e expression. Okay. Similarly, here you see that z is varying from 0 to 1, so z will also not be considered. We are left with y only and basically it is y bar, 0 means y bar. So, all these 4 ones, 8 ones are uh, basically referring here a single term that is y bar or y prime. Okay. And then what should I do? 4 1. I can make a group of 4 1. The first group will be like this, this 4, this 2 1 
and another 2 1 from here ok and what should I write here in place of these 4 1 is it, it it is here you see that x is varying from 0 to 1. So, I will have to leave x we are left with w only in fact it is w bar. So, it is w bar and then z bar ok because in this column it is z equal to 0 z equal to 0. So, it is w bar z bar ok and uh, I am also left with this single one ok. So, what should I do? Should I make a group of 1 or 2 1 or 4 1? 4 1 because 4 1 will give you a term with less number of variables ok. So, I will include this uh, uh, I mean consider this one along with this one and these two ones ok. And similarly, I can write for this these, uh, this group I will write x into same z bar ok. So, this is uh, the, the given simplified uh, expression for the mean terms given in this function I mean for this function ok. You see there are so many terms here if you directly implement if you directly go for a get implementation for this function what you will find that you need a large number of AND gate and R gate to uh, implement that function. But if you simplify this uh, given function using k map you are left with a very simple expression which uh, has uh, three, uh, two AND operation, two AND operation and another two R operation ok, 3 R operation in fact, in fact 2 R operation plus plus ok. So, this how you can see that uh, using k map is very very useful for uh, simplifying the given boolean functions ok, is it clear? Now, I shall introduce the concept of do not care condition. Okay. Do not care conditions uh, I mean are very useful for minimizing the given Boolean function. Okay. You see that sometime in truth tables there are few input possible combinations which are actually never occur ok. And therefore, uh, for those combination we can either take 1 as a output or 0 as a output ok. So, uh, in place of writing 1 and 0 what we do we uh, represent them by a cross sign ok and that cross may be considered as either 1 or 0 depending upon uh, the possibility of a simplified term ok. Getting my point? For example, uh, let us see that uh, uh, there is a BCD to decimal converter ok. This is example where you will see you will know about the mean terms what actually the mean terms are ok. So, I have BCD converter let us say B C D to decimal converter in fact. If I write a table for this B C D to decimal converter what I will do that for this B C D there will be 4 possible inputs ok. So, let us say that these are x y uh, w x y and z. 
So, there will be 16 combination possible combination from the 4, by lab, 4 variables w x y z starting from 0 0 0 0 to 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 to finally, 1 1 1 1. Okay. There are total 16 possible combinations, but you see that the output for this uh, decimal converter is a decimal number. So, that decimal number will be from 0 to 9 only. Okay. So, the possible output is 0, 1, 2, 3, 2, 9. Okay. After 9, you will see that basically the terms I mean the output which are there here, those outputs are not going to appear. I mean the input possible combinations are not going to appear in this BCD to decimal converter. Okay. When you design a circuit for a BCD to decimal converter, what you see that you will have four inputs. Okay. In that converter, you will have four inputs, those inputs are W x, y and z and the output gives you a decimal number and that decimal number will be from 0 to 9, okay, let us say from 0 to 9. So, there are only 10 possible outputs okay. and those 10 possible outputs are for 10 possible inputs starting from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay starting from 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 will refer 0 and similarly 1, 0, 0, 1 will refer 9. Okay. And there is no need of other uh, terms like 1, 0, 1, 1 is not required at all because we do not need the output 10. Okay. Similarly, we do not need output 11, 12, 13 or 14, 15. So, after this 1, 0, 0, 1 the input combinations are actually not required. Okay. So, while designing a BCD to binary converter, what we will do? Basically, we can consider these input states as a do not care condition, okay. because they are not going to appear in, this, uh, in that particular circuit. Okay. So, the corresponding output for these possible combination will be represented by a cross in the K map and that cross may refer 0 or 1 depending upon our need. Okay. If we have this kind of thing for 3 adjacent 1 let us say and 1 cross, then to minimize these 3 uh, mean terms, I can consider this cross to be 0, uh, sorry cross to be 1. If I consider this cross to be 1, I can make a group of this 4 1 and that will give us a very simple term. Okay. Getting my point? So, cross may be 0 or 1 because that cross is not going to happen in the circuit. So, that may be considered either as a 1 or 0 okay, depending upon our need. So, this is called the do not care condition. Let's, let me give you one example for uh, this do not care condition. Let us say that we have to reduce this function f w x y z, where f is summation of mean terms 1, 3, 7, 11 and 15 and do not care conditions are d equal to w x y z 0 to Five. Okay. So, 3 conditions are do not care condition 0 to I mean 3 mean terms are do not care 0 to 5. Okay. We can use this to simplify the given function. Okay. Please note here that do not care uh, conditions are written like this. Okay. There are 3 mean terms which are basically uh, do not care uh, 
for the don't care condition 0 to 5 okay these are 0 or 1 it doesn't matter for the functionality of the circuit functionality of the circuit will be same okay for this 0 2 and 5 so let me write the kmf for uh, four variable kmf here and try to simplify this W x y z 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 0. Okay. So, so uh, just fill the table 1 is here 3 is this okay. Then I have 7, 7 will be here, okay. 11 is here and 15 is this. Okay. So, these are uh, these ones are for the function f for the following mean terms 1, 3, 7, 11 and 15. Okay. Now, I have 4 another 3 do not care 0, 2 and 5. So, I will uh, just mark this corresponding uh, block here by a cross. So, 0 means this block, okay. 2 means here corner 1 and 5 means this one. Okay. Is it clear? Now, I can make a group. You see that the column 3, third column is basically filled with all 1. Okay. So, I can make a group of 4 1 here and that results in what? Hmm? Y z because y is 1, z is 1, y z then I am left with single 1 here. Okay. So, what can I do? I have two possibilities. The one is for this column the uh, sorry the first row this is all filled so what can i do here you see that this don't care can be considered to be one and this don't care can also be considered to be one okay and i can make a group of all these four i mean this this as a one this as a one and another two one are here okay and that would give us output w w bar x bar okay but I have another option to do and what is that? I can make a group of these three one and a single do not care. Okay. So, th this is this seems to be I mean a better option because we are using a single do not care. Okay. So, I can make a group of these three one along with this do not care. So, all one are already in groups and I can uh, write here for this four I can write W bar Z. So, it is W bar Z. Okay. So, this is our simplified function f equal to y z plus W bar Z. So, what you see here? It is not necessary to include all do not care while simplification, while you are simplifying the function. Okay. You can use only necessary one and if the options are available, you should go for using less number of do not care. Okay. So, it is a better option to choose only single do not care condition to form a group rather than using two do not care okay, for this one. Is it clear? So, this is do not care condition. Do not care conditions are used to simplify Boolean functions. Okay. Now, I will take uh, the next topic that is gate implementation
of sum of product and product of sum forms. Okay. So, let us say that uh, we have uh, given a function that is uh, for two variable, okay. in fact for uh, three variables and uh, that is f equal to a b c d c d let us consider one more variable e. Okay. So, what we have here this uh, given function is written in sum of product form. Okay. The products are finally, R together. We have performed R function here and here. First, we have got the mean terms and then R operation to write this f. Okay. How to implement this, how to uh, implement a hardware for this given function, that is our objective. Okay. Hardware means we have to implement the function using gates okay. and we can use AND gate and R gate as it is obvious here. Okay. First of all, I will perform the AND operation A, B taking two variables AND operation, then two variables C, D AND operation then I will finally, perform a R operation for this, this and this term. Okay. So, and R implementation for this given function may be like this. In first stage, I need two R gate, two AND gates that will give us here A, B, C, D. The output here will be A, B here it will be C D and then another input that is E and finally, I will do an R operation and the function f is actually our A B plus C D plus E. Okay. So, this is the implementation for sum of product form of the Boolean function if the Boolean function is written in form of, uh, I mean in sum of product form, then we need AND and R gate to Im implement the hardware for that given function. Okay. What we do for a product of sum form? For a product of sum form, let us say that a function, another function is given here that is written in this form A plus B, C plus D. E basically this is product of some form, is it or not? First we perform R, R between A and B, C and D, and then we finally perform the AND of A plus B, C plus D and E. Okay. So, to implement a function which is in product of some form, what I do? First I will perform the R operation in first stage and finally I will use a AND gate. Okay, to write the final function f, to implement the final function f. So, for that case, for this, this second case, again in first stage, I will have two R gate that will receive A and B as a input, give here A plus B. The second R gate will receive C and D as input and it will give here C plus D and finally, I will take one input E here and in the second stage, what I will do? I will perform an R operation or AND operation to write the final function A plus B, C plus D into E. Okay. So, this is normal implementation using AND R and and R gate, and gate, and R gate for sum of product and product of sum form. Okay, but generally we don't use this and R implementation. We use more versatile gates. Those are NAND gate and NAR gate. Okay, so that we'll do in next class.